Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. On today's bulletin, a Harare woman is charged with the abuse of her children. There's a new solution to the energy crisis. 60s and 70s fashion makes a comeback. And a Bulawayo football freestyler showcases his talent. A Harare woman has been charged with neglect and the ill treatment of her stepchildren whom she assaulted and starved, resulting in one of them suffering from kwashioko. Our reporter Mujaneta Chimoka gives us more. Mudzimai uwe aigaro shunguru za vanewe murume wake kubuliki za neguwa njima kuchika kusavarapi sa mshure mekunge mwe acha kuvarari sa panze uya kusavashambi za aka miskwa pamberi pedari rimbari no msiwe shpiri. Vanavaviri awa vanema kore 35 wakasi wana maivavo avakainda ku South Africa mshure mekunge baba wavarora mkazwe shpiri. These children waigara ni na stepmother wavo and the father who is the baba wa chacha yo but Mugarakwa ita vice vainuwa like vainuwa vainuwa food and also lack of bath. Papa's and papa's no guests wa and also wangu sana insuk ma yoke services like the other one anu zi Michelle she's three years old ani e wound ya na yo but that wound ena mbere mbuyi ndaka na even kuku clinic. Mupozori anu zana ngura zume zozi nusuruki tika kutiva na vashungu rudgwe. The main cause of that is because they, in your country, these children they were born in what you call a stepmother, but they are only the original mother. Because they pass a case like like you, 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 at a family that's not us. So I age all the families, but divorce is something which is bad, and it kills Vana Kukura Kwanit, and also it affects the nation as a whole. Because if we see children, we are looking, we we, we are taking them as the future leaders and also the development engines of the nation. So basically, I, I urge all the parents to treat children fairly and equally. On our researches, we found out that there are children who are living in, in White Leaf who are being abused verbally and also they are being denied the right to food and right to medical services. So we brought this case to, to the Court of Justice so that we may find a solution as an organization and also the things like abuse cases, there are so many abuse cases that are, are being reported each and every day but nothing has been done in order to protect the children and also in order to to assist them. Nyakushunguru Zavana Stella Kapuya Aganyuma Bera Uy Aruku Zoka Kudare Shekari Numsiwa sixteen Mwezuno Stella Aruku Vuma Mosha Yakushunguru Zamuana Avam. Dinim Toru and Awe A T V in Dirimuarare Zimbabwe. Using methane gas generated from human waste is seen to be another solution to the energy crisis facing many households in Zimbabwe. Robert Tafumane gives us the report. A local engineer is now manufacturing biodigesters that can produce 10 cubic meters of methane gas from human waste enough to provide energy to light a two-plate stove, five lights and a heater. Dr. Ephraim Mungiri says the use of renewable energy technologies has a potential to help the country to save energy and replace the use of paraffin and firewood. So we then came up with the, the idea of the biogas digester. After recognizing that we have plenty of degradable biomass in the country, abattoirs, crows in the rural areas, uh, human waste. So we then came up with the idea of promoting, developing a market for the biogas digestive technology. The engineer also says that food security can be enhanced through adoption of integrated farming systems powered by renewable energy. You can use that as rich organic matter, bring it, taking it back into the soil. You can begin a mushroom project because it's a rich substrate for mushroom production. Harare based feminine chain technician Hubert Kazingizi says affordable renewable energy technologies can also help in the fight against contagious diseases caused by lack of proper waste management. If this project picks up, 
this should evolve even the town planners we should plan also taking in cognizance that anaerobic fermentation is known worldwide to be the only way you can manage sewage. He added that these digesters have a long lifespan, making them a worthwhile investment. We can give it a 20-year guarantee, but it can be built to last for almost a lifetime. Uh, because it's, it's actually engineering work. It's built very strongly. A biodigester costs anything from $1,000 for a 4 cubic meter or more depending on the size. Electricity supplies to most households in Zimbabwe are erratic and moves to harness human waste to produce methane gas can go a long way in helping to solve the country's energy crisis. The production of green fuel and methane gas from human waste in Zimbabwe is a step in the right direction in the promotion of renewable energy. Reporting for ATV, Robert Afmane, Arare, Zimbabwe. Fashion enthusiasts in Bulawayo were recently treated to a rare spectacle as 60s and 70s clothing went on display at the Bulawayo Art Gallery. Selum Klanga reports. Mbugiso wenze lwa National Art Gallery wakumbuza iza kamizi za gubulawayo ngubushe bempa za zendulu. Eza geza ba lotu mogutala. Loku wenza ukutaba nengi babone umeshu omkulu oko na gulezo mpa za zendulu. Ngase zikatani zoro ukoga kwa lezinsu. People were in this channel. For example, la bana bamba wekuga ama leggings, la ma tops, kungela skirt. Right. And for other people, but it's fashion, things change. Abatunga lez in Pasha, but in Pasha Zakates is in the Tagazelilla, I want to have a villa Kachan, Jalos Valetella in my name. Amazuano, Dona Senge, Zingango Tipa, Kaku Pundu, some Bichan. But the same, then I could dare and this was Ningua, it's a family and where I Umbugi solo, wawubizo wanguti the return of yesterday fashion. Wataka zililu wangabaneni, avata gandisa, avata labatari. Nyinguselu mklaka, nyimelei ATV, gobula wa ezimbabu. A Bulawayo football freestyler with unbelievable skills is captivating crowds of all ages. Thanks to his amazing tricks and ball artistry, Yunis Ferizai gives us this report. A former Celtics football player is breaking new ground by introducing freestyle football in Zimbabwe, a game that is popular in the West. ATV recently caught up with Peter Mpofu, popular known as Palolo, who spoke about his career in freestyle football. I started in soccer freestyle in the 12 years. So I was in the football club, junior level. I was in the football club, Celtics. Azala Celtics, Asura, Nau Chata, Victoria Falls, Alimal, Aege Lugzalipora, so Atasu Genzama, Soka Freestyle. Soka Freestyle is a Ipor Uzala Lepora, Ulizala Pezu, not Pans. In the Tai Soka Freestyle, Uyanzi Pora, 
ngamasikia za chene Apart from playing freestyle football, Mpof has also clinched several deals with some corporates. He is scheduled to go to Harare Agricultural Show under Vaseline to perform for seven days. So that is also part of the approach to, with the, such big institutions. Mpof he has since developed a wide base of followers in Bulawa who commended him for his talent. So far so good. Zimbabwe, I was thinking of one of the Zadipora, about the talent to the Civil, the teaching background. But the Italian descent, the one who told is more than that. He's a special trick star, and I think he needs to be recognized in Blow Eye as one of the great soccer trick stars. This is natural talent, so the guy must actually be seen on TV so that he can be promoted. He hopes to participate in international tournaments if he gets sponsorship. I am Yunus Fereza reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.